Hey guys, it's Becky. I am here to do my kit share for February 2019. I did something a little bit different this month. I wanted to buy stuff. <laughs> and I had um, a gift card or a gift certificate for a cherry on top for $5. And then I also cash in some of my cherries for $10 off. So let me show you what I got. My total with even with shipping was like $11. First I got this Versafine ink pad because on one of our Thrifty Thursdays, Leslie did stamping and it was so crisp and clean. I'm like, girl, what'd you use? What kind of ink you use? And she used this, so I was like, I am gonna give that a try. Haven't tried it yet, but I, I, I am gonna try that. So what I ended up buying was this. This was like eight bucks. I mean, it's pretty expensive. And then this stuff. I got the die cuts from Kaiser Craft, um, the Blessed Collection. And I went ahead and stuck them down on, on some white <laughs> paper so I can see them. So I can see them better. This is how I did it. So I got that. Then I got these Brad's from My Mind's Eye Splendor Collection. So I'm going to use those. And then I just, these were just the little tile alphas from My Happy Place. I think that's Dear Lizzie. Is that Dear Lizzie? Nope. Webster Pages. Webster's Pages. So this is what I am using for embellishments. And these are my new things. And then I also threw in just some round Brad's. And these are not new. But... To match with all these, I looked at all the papers that came with this Kaiser Craft, and I kind of tried to make a faux kit that matched that. So I pulled out more papers than I usually do, I think. Most of these are from paper pads, and I can't tell you which ones because they're from several different ones. Well, I mean, I could. They're still on my floor, but I'm, I'm not going to. Sorry. So I pulled out this one for the main sheet um in this collection there's a floral paper oh it's so pretty i don't usually love i mean i love kaiser craft um papers in the design but i don't like the quality of the thickness i mean this is a paper pad and it is way thicker than what a kaiser craft paper would be so that's my only problem there so i got that one this is from a watercolor paper pad that was a hot buy. This one, there was a paper almost exactly like this in this collection. This is from a Maggie Holmes paper pad, I believe, Carousel. This is the only paper I pulled out that did not, was not from a paper pad. And this is an Echo Park paper. Pulled it out for the orange, obviously. In this collection, there are two pieces that are orange. Um, well on either one side or the other is orange, two different ones. There is one that's black and white, like coloring flowers. I couldn't find one on a smaller scale, but I, I did find this one that I could pull out. I also still have my VersaFine ink, and I do have some stamps and dies right there because I want to keep them where I can reach them and use them more often. I try to trade them out monthly, but I think I'm gonna leave those ones there for February. I'm not sure. Pulled this one out of a paper pad. This one is also from the watercolor paper pad. This one is a Paige Evans. This one and this one come from a paper pad that I think is called Black and White. It's a hot buy. And then, oh wait, this one might be from that same paper pad too. I'm not sure. But um, there was also a text paper that I wanted to um, put in a little bit of text. I don't know if I'll use it or not. But this is all I have for my kit. Are you guys proud of me? I uh, totally did not overdo it like I usually do. Now we'll see how much extra stuff I end up having to pull in. Probably none. Probably none. We'll see. Um, I, I might pull in some white cardstock. I haven't decided about that. And I'm still not sure if I'm going to go with um, maybe 
sketches or scrap lists. I haven't decided. I haven't got that far. So this is what we got. All right, guys. Um, I will see you next Monday with my first layout. Bye.